The Queen's Beasts. The White Greyhound of Richmond. This beast was a badge of John of Gaunt, Earl of Richmond, son of Edward III, but was also used by Henry VIII, and especially by Henry IV. The Tudor double rows can be seen on the shield, one rows within another surmounted, surmounted by a crown symbolising the union of the House of York and Lancaster. The White Hound of Richmond. The Yale of Beaufort. The Yale was a mythical beast said to be white in colour and covered with gold spots. Its peculiar characteristic was that it could swivel each of its horns independently. It descends to the Queen through Henry VII, who inherited it from his mother, Lady Margaret Beaufort. The shield shows a portcullis surmounted by the arch royal crown. The portcullis uncrowned was a Beaufort badge, but was used both crowned and uncrowned by Henry VII. The Yale of Beaufort. Red Dragon of Wales. The Red Dragon was used as his badge by Owen Tudor, his grandson, Henry VII took it as a stolen, took it as a stoke, took it as a token of his supposed descent from Cadwalder, the last of the line of Maguellen, King of Wales. The beast holds a shield bearing a leopard in each quarter. This was the coat of arms of Llewellyn Ap Griffith, the last native prince of Wales. Prince of Wales, the Red Dragon of Wales, the Red Dragon of Wales, White Horse of Hanover. The White Horse of Hanover was introduced into the Royal Arms in 1714 when the Crown of Great Britain passed to the Elector George of Hanover. This grandson of Elizabeth, sister of Charles I, became George I, King of Britain, France and Ireland. The shield shows the Leopards of England and the Lion of Scotland in the first quarter, the Fleur de Lys of France in the second and the Irish Harp in the third quarter. The fourth quarter shows the Arms of Hanover, the White Horse of Hanover. The White Horse of Hanover. The Lion of England. The crowned Golden Lion of England has been one of the supporters of the Royal Arms since the accession of James I in 1603. The shield shows the Royal Arms as they have been born since Queen Victoria came to the throne in 1837. In the first and last quarters, the Lions of England, the tr Lion and Treasure. A double frame of Scotland appear in the second and the harp of Ireland in the third. Richard Lionheart, son of Henry II, probably first chose three golden lions set one above each other on a red field as the royal arms of England. Since then, these lions have appeared on the coat of arms of every sovereign of this country. The Lion of England. The White Lion of Mortimer. The White Lion of Mortimer descends to the Queen through Edward, through Edward IV. The shield shows a white rose encircled by a golden sun known heraldically as White Rose on Soleil, which is really a combination of two distinct badges. Both of these appear on the great seals of Edward IV and Richard III and were used by George VI. When Duke of York, unlike the Lion of England, the beast is uncrowned. The Lion, the White Lion of Mortimer. The Unicorn of Scotland. From the end of the 16th century, two unicorns were adopted as the supporters of the Scottish Royal Arms. In 1603, the Crown of England passed to James VI of Scotland, who then became James I of England. He took as supporters of his Royal Arms, a crowned Lion of England, and one of his Scottish unicorns. The unicorn holds a shield showing a lion ramping in a royal tresser, a double frame adorned with fleur de lis. The unicorn of Scotland. The Griffin of Edward III. The Griffin is an ancient mythical beast that was considered a beneficent creature, signifying courage and strength. Combined with guardianship, vigilance, swiftness and keen vision, it was closely associated with Edward III, who engraved it on his private seal. The shield shows the round tower of Windsor Castle with the royal standard flying from the turret, the badge of the present house of Windsor in crown, enclosed by two branches of oak, surmounted by the royal crown. <laughs> the Griffin of Edward III, the Black Bull of Clarence. This beast descended to the Queen through Edward IV. The shield shows the royal arms as they were born, not only by Edward IV and his brother Richard III, but up by all the sovereigns of the houses of Lancaster and Tudor. The Black Bull of Clarence. <laughs> the Queen's Beasts. 
Each of these ten beasts was once used as a heraldic badge by Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II's forebears, and together they symbolise the various strands of the royal ancestry. The plaster originals were made by Mr James Woodford, OBERA, and placed in front of her Westminster Abbey annex for the coronation of Her Majesty in 1953. These replicas in Portland stone are by the same sculptor and were presented in 1956 by an anonymous donor.